Ladies and gentlemen, today is January 13th and I am going to prove to you that I am 100% normal. I'm going to do so with this telephone because I am actually calling God or at least Christ. And when Christ gets on the phone, it is going to absolutely astound you. Millennium Queen? Is this the Millennium Queen? Yes, it is. This is Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Hi, you? I'm, I'm fine, Your Majesty. But what, before we have, before we start this conversation, I'm, I'm, we're, I'm recording the conversation for a YouTube video. Is that okay? That is fine with me. Okay. Now, Your Majesty, I just gave a little bit of an introduction while the phone was ringing that when I prayed a few weeks ago for God to intervene into my life, all of a sudden you popped up. So would, would you like to introduce yourself to the YouTube people and, and, and we can interact after that? Yes. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Your Majesty the Millennium Queen and she's going to introduce herself and I'll, and you take it from there your majesty thank you my greetings to you world of evil and good righteous people my name born Angela Renee Kirsch that is Angela or angel, female angel, Rene, renamed later in my life, and Kirsch, K-E-R-S-H, which is a Jewish last name. And you have to be from a Jewish divine bloodline to be deemed as such, as well as the furthering of my name, Najia Alifa Alamimra, Mohammed, Millennium Queen. This is my full given name. I am the Christ of the world that you are looking for. I have been here now 40 years in the wilderness of North America among my people to see the treatment of all of the people of the planet. I am here at this moment speaking with you um, by a divine request. Um, I am also sealed as the Ark Holder of the Ark of the Covenant. I am the grander daughter of King Solomon, who is the son of King David, and also <laughs> of the divine bloodline of King James Irvin, whom I now have descendants that are still living under this bloodline. Um, what would you like for me to address? Because there are so many things that I would like to address the nation with. Well, basically, I, I didn't get involved with the original part of our conversation that you were in fact born on 321 of 71 which theoretically places your virgin birth at the month of 7770 so would you like that's probably a good place to start how you were born of a virgin birth and, and if that's okay with you I'd like you to explain it oh yes okay I was conceived from my mother, who is named Sarah Ann Kirsch Judith Queen. That is your princess. That is the divine derivative of the essence of where the royalty comes from. Not only in name, but also in DNA. My mother was a young girl when she conceived me. A virgin is defined by if a young woman has had her menstrual cycle first, as she is a young girl. If there is a man to fertilize the egg before the young girl reaches the stage
state of what you would consider puberty to have her first menstrual cycle. If she conceives before her first menstrual cycle, it is classified as a immaculate conception, a virgin conception. I was conceived the seventh day, the seventh month of the 70th year. That would place me in alignment with being born under the Alpha and Omega sign. The Alpha and Omega sign, which places me at my birth of March 21st, 1971. I have now been here on the planet 40 years after the Israelites have carried the Ark of the Covenant through the wilderness of North America. Now, as if any of you who do not understand what the zodiac sign is gu guiding us to, it gives us the celestial knowledge of the stars in the heavens above us, which you, some of you know as outer space, the upper realms, the heavenly places, and the millennia. Um, my mother conceived me in Jackson, Mississippi at that time. That is in your Bibles, in the cities that are shut up in the south. When my family returned back to Colorado from a vacation that they take every year down south from Denver, Colorado, down to Mississippi, they would visit my elder family members that were brought here from Egypt, Saudi Arabia, which all of these places are in Africa, which they have told us it is Africa, but the continent is truly called Abu Kulan. And the original people from Africa know this as Abu Kulan, and it was changed so that our whereabouts when we were brought here was not detected. No one knew that we were here until 79 years ago. During this time, my family had held on to traditions and also to very valuables that were smuggled here through other family members that later came on their own. Um, as my mother returned and they settled back here in their home at 3258 Niagara, my mother, of course, gave birth to me during that time at Denver General Hospital. I am born in the highest city in all of the world so that all can see me. I'm born in the Mile High City, in the sky, that would place me at the right time of my conception, the right time of my birth. If you do not understand, do not grovel, go back and read again. As I was born on 3258 Niagara Address, having that address at the time of my birth, that would place me again in your Bibles. There's scriptures that tell you exactly where to look. I am here looking for those who have been diligent, seeking my face, and for those, I do show up. The scriptures tell you to not follow the man who had a dream, but to look for the area where the man is spoken of who had a dream, which is Martin Luther King. If you notice on the map or the earth, Martin Luther King Boulevard runs east and west in Denver, Colorado. In Niagara, I'm coming from the word Niagara, the street represents the largest waterfall nearly in the world. Now, with that waterfall showing Niagara Falls as the 
at Niagara Street, that gives you a pinpoint of where to look for me. These scriptures have been made plain and clear, although some of them, it depends on the version of the Bible that you pick up. It is wise, most wise, to pick up a Bible that has not been revised since 70. If you pick up a Bible after that point, they begin to revise so that they can change the style of wording so that you could not find me in the scriptures. This is by design. Now, as we have established the fact that we have theologically found me, scripturally found me, and also found me through my birth, I had a DNA test taken this past summer for clarification for those who choose to say that they do not believe. I have a 12 helix DNA strand. That is very rare, being that it's all of the strands.